Last Saturday night, Utah State played one of its most crucial games of the season. George Nelson Fieldhouse was the scene of the action as the 12th rated team in the nation, the University of Houston, clashed with the Aggies. The Cougars from down south were not only a ranked team, but proved themselves to be one of the most ranked teams ever to visit Logan. Through their actions during the game, they probably thought of themselves as God's gift to the game of basketball. Such incidents as throwing the ball at the referee, an unsportsmanlike gesture from one of the players, and constant arguing with the officials over obvious calls all added up to demonstrate the caliber of the team and its coaches. Apparently, they were so used to winning that when things were not going their way, they tried anything at hand to get back on top. But it just wasn't their night. The score was tied six times before the Aggies pulled away at 26 to 23 and were never to be caught again. The poems of Rod McCune echoed throughout the Fine Arts Center last week as read and sung by Glenn Yarborough in concert. The Crucifixion, Each of Us Alone, Listen to the Warm, and Let Me Choose My Life highlighted the medley of poems performed by the noted folk singer. Yarborough builded out his famous ballad, Baby the Rain Must Fall, and led the audience in singing rows. The performance was rounded out by the annex of a very funny comedian, George McKelvey.